Hi everyone. So today we will talk about the packages tab. So here on the top, you will see uh, how to create the package, uh, the deployment package. If you're using SCCM or Apple remote desktop, you can just click on these things and you can uh, give you more information on how you can deploy that. So there are three tabs. Uh, one is a, uh, Adobe templates. So there are some pre-built templates for Adobe applications. So rather than creating a package, if you just want to have a package for After Effects, for example, for Mac operating system, you can just click on that on the right hand side. It will give you the information, what all applications are included in this and what options are there. So accordingly, you can search for product that you want as a template so that uh, these are the templates or else uh, you can just create a package. So uh, the third tab is the tools tab that you can see on uh, the Creative Cloud Packages. So this is an old tool which admins were using to create packages, but now it, uh, it only support application up to 2018 and not about that. So uh, for the new versions of Adobe applications after 2018, you have to use the Adobe Admin Console in order to create a package. Uh, those other tools are uh, like Adobe Update Server, the Licensing Toolkit Extension Manager, and Remote Update Server. So they have their own functionalities, and if you want to learn, learn more about them, uh, you can just click on Learn More over here. It will take you to the Help X page, where you can get some more information on that. Now, if you go on the fourth tab, it says Preferences. So there are some uh, custom preferences. Based on your requirement, you can just include these preferences, like you want to notify by the email when Creative Cloud application updates are available. You will get a notification that some updates are available and uh, you can create a package. And also over here, uh, you will see the there are some settings for OST and if you want to install the package in the custom directory. Now, if you go to uh, the Packages tab, over here you can create a package as per your requirement. So if I click on create a package, it will give me uh, two options. One is named user and the shared device license. So based on your requirements and the user needs, you can choose uh, which application or what type of licensing you need. So for example, if we choose named user license, uh, we can just click on next and there are two options, self-service and manage package. Self-service is like uh, the user has admin rights on the machine and he should be self-sufficient to install any applications as per the requirement. So in most of the organizations, admins do not give admin rights to the users in order to install the applications by their own. So in this case, uh, you can use manage package and if you go to the next, uh, you have an option to choose the platform uh, you need the package for. So we have uh, Mac, Intel, and over here you can choose the language, which language you want you want to apply. So if, you, if the user is from a different zone, like he's from Sweden and you want the application to be in Swedish, you can just choose Swedish over here and install the package. And over here it says uh, use OS locale. So whatever language the operating system is installed, then it will pick the language and install the application. So if you want the application to be in Swedish, but the operating system is in English, then you can just uncheck that and keep it as Swedish and click on the next option. So the next option over here, uh, you can see all the applications uh, which are included uh, to be in the package. So there are the latest version of Adobe application and the Creative Cloud Extra application. It is a mandatory component. Uh, you cannot exclude uh, it. So there are some options like if you want the older versions or beta versions over here, uh, you can just click on the app versions and over here, the only check is the latest version. So it shows the latest version. But if you want the older version as well, you can just click on the older version and it will give you all the older versions of Adobe applications, uh, which uh, can be packaged and uh, which has a support available as well. So uh, you can see that Illustrator shows 2021 and uh, then 24 is 2020 and 23 is 2019. So based on the requirement and the end user needs, you can choose what application you want to include and uh, you can create the package accordingly. I just clicked on old version and I see regular all the latest versions of Adobe applications. 
So for example, uh, the user only needs Photoshop and Premiere Pro. So I choose these two applications and go to next. So over here, it will give me options if I want to include some plugins. So user can install plugins from the Creative Cloud desktop application as well. But if you want to include uh, some plugins, you can choose uh, from here and these plugins will be included in the package. So I, if I go to next over here, there are some options like enable self-service install means the users will get uh, will have the rights to install applications on their own and this is the setting which only be applicable for creative cloud desktop application so for example we have indesign 16.3 available right now but maybe in next couple of months we will have 16.4 so for installing 16.4 the user uh, will go to the admin and request for the latest update as an admin he or she uh, will create a package for 16.4 and install it on the machine will be able to install and update applications on their own uh, and this is a uh, completely for adobe application not anything else so if you are enabling these two options uh, then any update or any new version of adobe application user will be self-sufficient to So if you do not want your users to install any updates of the application and you want them to be available on the same version, then you can just check this option, disable auto updates. And there is one more option that is file syncing. If you do not want your users to sync any files on the cloud. So uh, this, if you check this option, then the cloud icon on the top of Creative Cloud, wherein users can see the storage and uh, all that will be disabled. So a couple of more options enable browser based login means if the users are using federated IDs, then uh, they they try to enter their email address, it will redirect them to the browser and this way they can complete their login process, enable install for beta apps. So uh, this option provides end user to install and update the beta applications and in the creative cloud, they, there will be a section called beta apps on the left hand side. So they can just uh, click on that and uh, they will see all the beta apps available to download and test and below like uh, there are some options to enable a remote update manager locally all you or you want to host it on the server so that it will not connect to adobe server uh, and it will just connect to your server so you can just enable that and if you want to learn more about that you can just click on learn more and it will give you the information and there are some one more option to create a folder for the extension and include extension manager uh, command line so that you can create a different folder for extensions because i choose one extension called pantone so that's why it's checked and uh, grayed out and there is one extension called asset link if you want to include that you can check that and the extension will be included in the package and if you want to install the package in custom directory you can also use the option and there is learn more option as well if you want to know more about that now we go to the next option and over here i just have to give the name of the package uh, like the test and you can see that i included these applications premiere pro and photoshop and there is one add-on which i included that is Pantone connect and over here uh, there you can see the platform is windows language is swedish and all the other options which are checked in the last few screens and to give you the final thing like uh, how this package will be visible for installing all you need to do is uh, go to the next step and is to build the package and once the package is created you just have to download it and you can install it on the end user machine either you can use sccm or apple remote desktop as well to install package remotely on the end user so this is all about the package tab hope uh, it helps thank you